right here. I'll be right back. Ah, much better. Now let's go. Somebody's been changing the exhibit. Yes, I know who. Okay, on past these whirling dust storms. Stopwatch. Wow, look at this. From the looks of it, I'd guess this is a color-coded lock. I'll have to take those gems, put them in the mouths of these lions, and make the color of this light beam match the color on the door. Finally, the pyramid! And there's Miss Fowl. Oh! Help me, Jimmy! Hang on, Miss Fowl! I'll be right there! You're safe now, Miss Fowl! I'll just pull this lever and get you out of that thing! No! Wait, Jimmy! Are you sure that's the level for... Right? <laughs> Sorry about that! I'm okay! okay. Hey, Miss Fowl, have you seen a boy who looks like me? But with a goatee and a sinister laugh. Why, yes, Jimmy. I knew that couldn't be you. He's causing trouble all over. Finally, someone who believes me. I always have Jimmy. Now go find that other boy genius. I will, Miss Fowl. See ya. All right. <laughs> Jimmy, are you cleaning your room? I cannot be interrupted with such trivial tasks. I can't clean. There's nothing evil about cleaning. I go... James Isaac Neutron, are you even listening to me? Ugh. Parents. Jimmy. Oh, sorry, Mom. Dad. You know, I don't think we've been spending enough quality time together as a family. What do you say we all go to the museum, hmm? Oh, don't you try and change the subject, young man. I don't know, dear. Yeah, maybe we could use an outing to the museum. I think I can arrange that. <laughs> I'm having fun. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That wasn't very funny, but I'm pressed for time. Bye bye. James Isaac Neutron. Hey, Mom. Dad. I'm going to get you out of there. You are in a lot of trouble, young man. Why did you put us in here? I'm really sorry, but I'll explain later. What's that button in the cage for? Uh, you said before that this button opened something else, but not this cage. Wait a second, I think I can uh, hit the switch from here. Ow! I got it. Look! That button opened some sort of panel. It looks like keys go into these holes. Great. Now all I have to do is go find them. I'll be right back with the first key. There's the key. Okay, the first key is in place. Now what? Okay, the key opened up that passageway. This must be where I can find the second key. That second key must open the cage. Hang on just a little longer. I'll have you out of there soon. Hurry, Jimmy. I can't feel my face. What? Uh-oh. Big boulder! Gotta move! This is a portal of some kind. I wonder where it leads.
second key. All right, with that cage out of the way, I can get you guys out of those caskets. Great, son. Oh, and son. Yeah, Dad? Hurry. Hey, Dad, you haven't bought any of that black flurp, have you? Uh, what's this black flurp you're talking about? I've never heard of it. So, where do you have it hidden, huh? I won't tell Mom. Well, I have a crate of it hidden in the garage. For those days, Mom turns uh, grizzly, if you know what I mean. What was that, Dad? He said there's a crate of it hidden in the garage. Uh-oh. <sighs> hey, Carl, over here. Hey, Jimmy, what you got there? Nothing, Carl. Just some flurp. Hey, that stuff looks good. Can I have a sip? Sure, Carl. Just don't finish it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> I feel kind of funny. Uh, what's happening what to, happen to me, Jimmy? 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 Oh, oh no. no! I'm getting I'm real hungry. I gotta stop Carl. I'll build a foot shooter to attach to my rocket ship. Shooting food into his mouth will calm him down. I have to get supplies from the hardware store. Gotta get food from Sporkos, too. Hi. Welcome to Sporkos. May I take your order, please? Yeah, give me, uh, 6,000 Sporko burgers with cheese, please. Would you like to sporko size that for just 29 cents extra? Uh, sure. Would you like fries with, uh... Did you say 6,000? Yes. Is there a problem? Um... Um, okay, um, that's like a really big order, so I can give you part now and you can pick up more at the window of any Sporko's location in town until the order is complete. And thank you for eating at Sporko's. Great. That should be enough food even for Carl. Here you go. Hey, kid, how can I help you? Okay, um, give me a lead pipe, a spatula, a big spring... And a case of duct tape, please. Building a food shooter for a rocket ship, are you? Yep. Good luck. Bye now. Now I can use my rocket ship to pick up food and feed Carl. If I can get enough food into Carl's mouth, it should return him to normal. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Boy, did that flurp have a kick to it. <laughs> you got any more? <sighs> I felt like a monster capable of climbing buildings. Easy there, Carl. Don't go ape on me. How about you stay away from the flurp and help me locate Cindy? Oh, Jimmy. You still sweet on Cindy? I thought you weren't interested in girls just yet. No, no! Ugh. Let's just say I need to right some wrongs. Well, okay, Jim. Whatever you say. Now that you're back to normal, where's Cindy? Why would I tell you? You just ignore me again, Jimmy. You know, I thought we were best friends. At least we were until she got into the picture. We are, Carl, and I don't like Cindy. My evil double, Jimmy Negatron, is pretending to like her to make me mad. Yeah, but he looks just like you. I promise that once I find him, I'll clear up the me and Cindy issue, okay? Sure, Jim. But, um, can I still be the best man at your wedding? Ah! Hey, Jimbo! I've got a friend that wants to talk to you. Oh, Jimmy, I think you're the greatest, smartest boy ever. Tell me more, Cindy. I think I'm getting sick. Cindy, don't drink that stuff. It's poison. I think I L-O-V-E you, Jimmy Neutron. No! I have to get through to the factory and get rid of all that black flurp. Jimmy Neutron, at last. The Herminator has found you. Herminator? This bot needs serious help. <laughs> I will zap you like a little fly and take you back to my master's lab. Uh, can't we talk about this? Negative. Prepare to be herminated. Water balloons aren't going to help me now. I'll have to find something around here to stop this guy. All right, radar! Calculations. <laughs> 
I need a full bottle of Blurp to achieve the proper Blurp to Burp ratio. Now, on to the factory. Whoa! So this is where all the black flurp is coming from. The heart of darkness. I have to stop those black flurp bottles from being shipped. I'll shoot the black bottles down with my water balloon launcher and leave the purple bottles. Gotta make sure I don't shoot the bottles of purple flurp. I'll just make more. I am unstoppable. I am all powerful. I am. <laughs> Trapped in a vat. Now to get Cindy back to normal. A purple flurp should reverse the effects of Negatron's black flurp formula. Hey, Cindy, drink this. Sure, Jimmy. Anything for you. <laughs> Well, what are you looking at, nerd boy? What did you say? I don't think I heard you. You heard me correctly, and back up. You're violating my territorial bubble. Yes! Insult me again, please. Oh, you think you can just wind me up? Well, you have another thing coming, Neutron. Neutron? I can hear you out there. Listen to me. You think you've won? Well, I have a little surprise in store for you. I've programmed the mechanical dinos from the museum to rampage through the town. I've given them the signal and they're making their way through the downtown street as we speak. Let's see you think your way out of this one. <laughs> wow, this echo sounds cool. Oh no! I have to get out there and stop them. and the food shooter I rigged to hurl water balloons at the dinos. Yeah, they are mechanical after all. Let's go, Goddard! I did it! It's finally over! Goody, goody, goofball. It's far from over. <laughs> I really wish he'd stop laughing like that. It's annoying. You've stopped me for now, Neutron. But I'll be back. And next time, I'll beat you. Don't count on it, Negatron. After all, I am the one and only. So long, Neutron. <laughs> Neutron.
Uh, Jim? Yeah, Carl? So, that's the evil you from another dimension? Yep. Okay, um, aren't you going to stop him? Nope. Why not? Simple. I planned a little surprise for him when I was trapped in his dimension. What kind of surprise? Let's just say he'll be busy for a while. What? Ah! Neutron must have changed my return coordinates. Come on! Release me from this cage at once! Negative. You won't fool me this time, Neutron. The Herminator is too smart for you. What? No! It's me, you metal moron! Yeah, sure. That's a good one. Ha ha ha! Hasta la vista, Jimmy!